that awkward moment where somebody gets the song lyrics just a teensy little bit wrong. I'm gonna screw the nether. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Minecraft Maker. I was almost about to say Super Mario Maker, but it's not. This is Super Minecraft Maker. So we're back, and we're going to play for a couple more of the trending levels of today. So, uh, last time we played My Pet Grass, so I'm guessing Quiz Yourself is going to be the next one. Ooh. See, now this stuff I haven't actually seen in vanilla just yet. So these are all the new, like, end blocks, aren't they? Can't remember the actual name of them, but we also have an introduction book so it says welcome to a minecraft quiz this quiz oh no this is gonna put my minecraft skills to the test or should i say to the quiz ha 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 anyway good luck from silly dilly pickle so question number one how do you craft fire charge oh i don't know i've, I've never made a potion in my life flint blaze rod and gunpowder or coal charcoal blaze powder and gunpowder i'm gonna guess that one there you go did that work Wait, do I have to get all these right and, like, the last door will only open if I get it right? Hold on a second. Let me restart the level. I want to see what happens if I were to get the wrong answer. So, restart with the with the flint and steel. So, if I were to go like this. Oh, yeah. That's when you get it wrong. Oh, God. And that one as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. The whole level will explode if I get it wrong. So, I got it right the first time. That's good. Um, where do you find Elytra in Ender Gateway Cities? Yes, you do. Um, what happens when you smell a sponge in a furnace and put a bucket as fuel after it starts cooking? Uh, it fills the bucket up with water and gives you a sponge. I have no idea. I'm going to guess it gives you a sponge. Oh, no, 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 no. Sit back, sit back, sit back. Oh, no, the whole, yeah. There goes the whole level. Okay. Well, this is good. This is educational for me. I'm going to be learning a lot today. So, the answer to that one is it fills the bucket uh, uh, up with water and gives you a sponge. Good stuff. So, what is so unique about chorus fruits? I can't imagine it would teleport you when you eat it. That doesn't sound very Minecrafty. It is! That's a real thing! Oh, God. I'm so out of touch. Oh, no. I almost survived that as well. <laughs> I love that I can still hear the leftover explosions from last time. I don't even know what chorus fruit is. I've never come across it. Is that some weird kind of devil fruit? Oh, it's God. Anyway, do you like the level? It's going to have to be heck yeah, isn't it? I would actually quite like it if he put an explosion at the end there. Uh, well played. Now you can have some cookies. Oh, yes. But I'm too hungry. I'm not hungry at all to eat them. Oh, that's disappointing. But anyway, we finished it in 24 seconds. You know what would be quite nice, actually, in this game mode is if they had, like, you know, like, the best time, like, a speed run of a level. That would be really, really cool. I'm going to pop your like, good sir, just because people are telling me off if I don't. We're going to exit the level and find another one. Easy TNT run. Oh, dear. Let's have a little look then. Oh, so you it's straight into it. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, this is an easy TNT run. Wow, that beacon is really far away. So this is, I guess, like a demo. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I almost balls up there. Um, so I guess this is a really good demonstration of how long the levels can be. I don't know if this is maximum length, but it's got some good length to it. Oh, careful. Is this going to be... Oh, no, no. Oh, no, maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Will this be a first time complete? Oh, that's a big jump at the end. Boom. There it is. 30 seconds. Wow. I honestly didn't think I was going to survive that. I honestly thought I was going to fall. Right, exit the level. Next one up, we have got the last quest. Ooh. There have been some really good RPG ones so far from what I've played, so I'm excited to give this a whirl. So, we can now start the level. I feel I find the text all over the screen so, like, invasive, but that might just be a personal preference. But anyway, welcome to the last quest. In this map, you'll be tested with many challenges. The first one already started. Good luck. So the first one is figuring out how the hell to get through this doorway. It says, find the button. Oh, dear. Oh, where's the button? Is it on the outside of the level? Nope, it's not there. Is it around here? No, I don't really see one there. It doesn't seem to let you walk off the edge of the block here. I think they've got some kind of invisible block. So you can't even, like, hang off and around the edge. Oh, there's the button. How did I not spot that before? All right, there you go. Good stuff. Challenge number one, complete. Oh, wait, it's challenge number two, find another button. Hold on a minute. It's a big old jump there. Oh, go on. There you go. Nailed it. Oh, go, 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 go. There you go. All right. Challenge number two, parkour. Uh, you might need these. Oh, dear. Okay. There you go. All right. That's why. Because it's a real long drop to the bottom, and there is a ladder to get back up in case you mess it up. Oh. And up to that one. And up to that one. 
two more jumps to go. What is with the frame rate drops? I have noticed that when I play this like server specifically or more so just minecraft maker because i never got it in their smash bros game um that i do have quite a lot of lag spikes maybe it's just because it's like i don't know maybe it's just because there's so much void around me or something right jumping mechanics whoa 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 okay sure oh wait is this supposed to be like a? no hmm oh wow whoa Oh, that was really cool. So that actually launched me properly. So you can actually use pistons and slime blocks in order to, like, make a launcher. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've been out of touch with Minecraft for so long that there are all these really cool things. So we've got an anti-nuke set. So we've got blast protection. Oh, we've got a lot of blast protection on. Oh, dear. What's in there? Okay, that's in there. That's in there. And then what do I do? Do I stand on here? Or do I stand here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that, that worked, that worked. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, God. Just drink, 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 drink. Don't die, don't die, don't die. There you go. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Okay, let's try this one again. So, I'm just going to hold forwards this time. So, get on the pressure plate. Get inside of there. Hold forwards. And then... Ooh, there you go. Look at the leap. Number four, B Matrix. Oh, dear. Is there not a check? Oh, I guess then. No, I guess if there's ladders, you don't need it. But that might be also a cool addition as well. Oh, whoa. Hold on a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> I got knocked off the edge. All right. So I'm going to be really, really fast to do this. But no, a checkpointing system in this would be really cool, I think. Uh, hold on a second. Whoa. And then again. Oh, no. I didn't quite make that one. I stood on top of it and I did a really quick, like, sprint, but it didn't work. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. So, up to there, across to there, up to there, and across to there. Yep, nailed it. Onto the ladder. We got it. So, unless they can nail me from there, I'm good. Oh, no, not Elytra. I'm really bad with these. I don't know how to actually activate it. I think it's a double jump, but I'm not 100% sure. So, what do I do? Is there even a... I don't think there's going to be a respawn here, is there? Oh, no. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, no, actually, that kind of worked. There you go. Ooh, do you hear that? No way. Are you serious? I got killed by, like, landing in that. That's not fair. Okay, attempt number two. Let's see if this actually works this time. I don't know what I did wrong last time. I Like, I thought I was fine, but apparently I ballsed up somewhere. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did I do so wrong? All right, next up, we have got the quest for glory. Let's have a little look at this one. So, it's made by the Bloody Knight. The Bloody Knight. It's been in a big battle. It's covered in scars and wounds. There's blood everywhere. It's a big old mess. Uh, oh, yeah. I would quite like to do that, actually. So, right-click on you. Equip. Right-click on you and equip. Right-click on you. Equip. And there we go. I'm going to take the sword out as well, because why not? Right, we've got a fishing rod. Oh, we got the book about the quest for glory. Okay. We've got some shears, a lead, a compass, a clock, and an item frame. I'm guessing all of these are going to come into play at some point during the map. Nothing in that chest up there. And this is a cozy little place, isn't it? Look at that. Right, let's have a little read. So, many months ago, a demon possessed the king's wizard, and the kingdom is no longer safe from the underworld. Ghosts and ghouls and many other dead-like creatures have... Uh, well, they've killed a lot of good people and bad stuff, and so our hero started his quest for glory and to kill stuff and to shed blood. Sorry, sorry, I'm an idiot. Ghosts don't have blood, but just ignore all of this crap and get on with the journey already. P.S. You might need to take some stuff from the chest, you know, so you won't die. All right, well, let's have a look. Oh, whoa. Is that... No, that's a bit grim, isn't it? That's a man who's been hung. That is pretty nasty-looking stuff. Uh, I cannot pass through the mountain. Well, should we try going under the mountain? Is there a gap? No, we can't pass through it. Should we go around the side, or are we going up or over it? It's got to be a secret somewhere. Oh, there's a cave here. Ooh. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. There's a skelly bob just there. There's a dead miner. Why doesn't he have a pickaxe? I guess he couldn't attack without, could he? Oh, come on now. There you go. Wow, he took a lot of hits. Considering he was just a skeleton, that leather armor must have been really, really buffed up. Uh, is there anything here for me to have? Because I'm already down to two hearts, or one and a half, actually. It's really not good for me. Anything good for me? Oh, a rusty blade. That's a bit better. So we've gone from five attack to six attack, but we've still got the same attack speed. Oh, yikes. If there's a witch or, like, a skeleton that launches something, I'm going to be in big trouble. Uh, they should really fix this town. Look at the broken gate. Maybe I'll find something in the ruins of this town. Well, there's a chest just in that building there. 
I love how thematic some of these levels are. They're really, really cool. Uh, let's see. Ooh, the spiky ice chest plate. Goodbye, trusty armor. <laughs> There's a zombie right there. Is he going to spot me? Hello, friend. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. He spotted me. Now, am I able... Even though I can't fall off the edge of the map, can they? No, there's definitely a wall behind them. Uh, uh, oh, goodness. There you go. There's another one. Undead Warlord. Oh, that's what he is. God, this is cool. Right, there we go. He went down, I think... Oh, I guess I do have an iron sword now. I was going to compare his health cap to the, uh, to the skeleton we just fought. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't take any fall damage. Oh, I'm in some real trouble here. Um, <laughs> I might have to restart the level. I've taken way too much damage from that skeleton, which means I can't really fall anywhere. Let me see if I can, like, make the falls as minimal as possible. Oh, this is going to be a real long fall regardless, isn't it? I mean, I could try and get across the that. No, no. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amazing. So the fall wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. There's just, like, a bouncy floor there. Fantastic. This is so cool, by the way. I don't know if I've said this already, but we went through that really cool-looking, like, nether shard, or whatever you want to call it, in, like, a giant, like, crystal portal type thing. And then we're going to get a potion of healing and fire resistance. Yes! Let me drink both of those immediately. There you go. I'm going to put you on slot three. Uh, let's heal up first. And I'll drink the fire resistance when we get back over here. God, this is so cool. Like, it's just it just immerses you instantly. So drink that one just there. There you go. So now that should mean for a few seconds, I should be able to walk through there without any issues. Now, you're not going to attack me unless I attack you, aren't you? But you are stood in the way. Oh! oh God, that sound scared me. <laughs> My face looked like a picture there. I should check this tunnel. Oh, no, there's a witch! Bugger off! Hold on, I'm going to try and go over the witch. There we go. So she's going to walk around that way. If I can get past her into the, uh, to the beacon, then I'm going to be good. Boom! There it is. Level complete. 421. I'll take it. I'm going to leave a like on that level just because I really, really enjoyed the uh, the theme around that one. Right. What we got next? We have got the Elidia. Okay. Or was that Elidia 2? No, it was Elidia by Gramdam. Let's see what you got, Gramdam. So, tip. There's a piston behind green blocks. Let me just check. There's no green blocks here. Okay. So, the doorway should open with that thing. That's cool. And then what? The beacon is nowhere in sight either. Like, I've got my... Oh, there it is. My render distance, I think, is at 12. So, it's a good way away. So, what was that? Was that a checkpoint? Or... A potion of swiftness. Oh, dear. What am I going to have to run from or run to? Or run f toward? Okay, nothing going on there. There's no way of getting up to that ladder just there. Unless there's a way up this tree. Hold on a second. I might be able to get up part of this broken ladder. Oh, no, I couldn't. Oh, but I could probably get in there. No, I can't get in there again. Um, let's see if I can go around the outside of here. There you go. Light to there, and then onto the ladder. Yeah, look at this. Don't even know if that's what I was meant to do, but I'll take it. Again, that's another pressure plate, but not a lot going on. Hmm, what's that there? Oh, it says this way. Do I have to go? Oh, do I have to go through this little thing? Through like a little bus. Okay, sure. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this level. We've got a potion, and I don't really know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. So I can land in water. That's good. Do, like, the tiniest little bit of parkour. And then we're at the end? Hmm. So that one was just kind of a bit of a walkthrough. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. There you go. Level cleared. Doesn't matter if I die now. Doesn't matter if I die. Yeah, that's right. You troll. So, let's move on to the Outer Bounds glitch bug jam. Oh, no. Is this you, like, demonstrating how to get out of the seven width in this server? Hold on a minute. The world's trying to load. There it comes. There you are. Right. So, what's inside of there? We've got some wings. Shall I wear the wings? Sure, why not? So, if I equip those, and then we're going to go up the ladder. Oh, whoa. Hold on a minute. Wait, so I... Oh, yeah, I'm climbing a ladder from the inside. Oh, that's really weird. Okay, sure. So I'm interested to see what this bug is. So I get inside of that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm dying here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, I see. So now I am actually standing on nothing. What? This is super weird. And then I can then activate the wings and probably fly out. Oh, no, I can't. I'm just walking... <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, this dude has actually figured out how to break out the top. 
of the world height. So I'm guessing that this world must be seven blocks wide and it's X amount high. And this person's figured out that if you just literally get into a boat at the top of a, of a tall tower, then when you get out of the boat, then it then pushes you above the block because obviously that's where clipping gets involved. But I bet there's no way back down, is there? Oh, no, wait, it, ah, that's a good thing to learn. So you don't have to stand on the beacon itself. You just have to break through its vertical height. That's really interesting to know. That's really, really cool. Should have given that a like, but I'm sure the developers will come across that one soon enough. Right, epic quest number two. Have I already done an epic quest? Oh, no, we've done a quest for glory, so this one's a bit different. So this one comes from Butterbasher11. What I will do in the next video, actually, is I will order the levels not by trending, but by the most likes, so we'll be able to see what the most liked levels on this platform are. Anyway, this will not make sense if you've not played epic quest. This is epic quest two. Oh, right, okay, so if I do level search epic quest epic quest as one word yeah there we go uh epic quest one okay here we go now we're ready for it oh whoa i think i might have broken the server a little bit <laughs> the lobby we spawn in is just over there i mean this is in beta so there's bound to be a few bugs but anyway uh class inspired by tom skyer classes are easter eggs right okay so we've got the scout class oh i see so you actually have to go through one of the doors and then when you do, then you can choose to travel along one of the one of the paths. Ah, that's a really clever idea. Okay, well, let's equip that and that one and that one. So we're all chained up. We've got a baseball bat. It's got a power five, sharpness four, knockback of one. We've got a ton of potions as well. And then did we get a minecart out of there? Yeah, there we go. There's a minecart. So we're going to throw the minecart onto that track, hop aboard, and away we go. So then this throws us into the epic quest. So let's give this a try. Wow, okay, sure. So what's this saying? Note the chest is hidden. Oh, wait, the mission was... Oh, he's gone. Oh, no, I'm gone. Wow. <laughs> what a sharpshooter. I can't believe he got me like that. GG, sir. GG. Oh, my God. Okay, there you go. Grab some of those again. There you go. Nice. I honestly did not expect that to happen. I was too busy trying to read the uh, the text quest. Right, I'm going to move you into slot one. There you go. All right. So first order of business is probably going to be to get rid of that skeleton. Let's give that another try. So, stand there. So, the mission is to get through the door. So, there's a skeleton there. And there's also a zombie. The zombie should be easy enough to take care of. I think it'll only take one more hit or so. He had some serious knockback on that bow, though. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to... Ouch! 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 Run! 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 Oh, wait. Is there a hidden chest, though, with a lever or something? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, that's a potion of swiftness. Where's healing? What? An atomic punch! What does that do? Oh, I don't know what that does. Is he gonna? Oh, he's not gonna fall off the edge from there, is he? And that skeleton is probably gonna come for me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get rid of you. Come on. Get lost. God, this rogue is weak. One more hit. There you go. Okay. Right. So the chest is just there. Oh, this. Oh wait, that says key two. Oh, there you go. Key two. So that opens that. Do I need a key one or not? Oh, there's a. There's one just up there. Hold on a second. I'm gonna have to get after this skeleton. There you go. Nice. Okay, good. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and knock you forwards and then off the edge because you can fall off the side if there's nothing on the uh, the width of it, but you can't fall out if you walk that way. So that's fine. Right, and then we got key number one. Uh, hey, if you open this, this is the key. Hi. By the way, do you like the class system? I do. I do. I just complimented it a second ago. I really, really like it. So key number two gets us through to here. Oh. You're already here. Hello, hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm in mean, some serious trouble here. Hold on a second. Just make sure I keep some distance on them. There you go. Knock back. I don't know if there are any more skeletons behind me. No, there's not. Oh, there were guardians over there, though. I still don't, to this day, don't really know how to combat those guardians. So, how am I going to deal with her? This is the boss, apparently. Oh, yikes. And I see you've put a water block in there as well to keep the guardians alive. That is interesting. Oh, oh, careful. So, kill her, kill her, kill her, and then run away. That's nice. That's good. Who's firing? Oh, there's a blaze. That's what's going on. So I was thinking, if, as long as I get you, set you on fire. Oh, but you don't stay on fire for long, though. That's annoying. Die, sorcerer! And I'm guessing that sorcerer is probably going to have a pressure plate beneath it. Hey, you got me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I can't die from poison. But I will only be on half a heart. Yikes. There's another splash potion of healing. Thank goodness. There you go. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> when did you come out to play? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get the witch. There you go. Then move back a little bit. This is going to be a dancing game, isn't it? 
Uh oh, 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 you really got me. Oh, no. Oh, you got me as well. Okay, I'm just going to kill the witch. Oh, no. This is really hard. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Sniper. Right, this is what I want. I want to be able to keep my distance from everything and everyone. So let's give this a whirl. We've got a sword, one arrow, one quiver. But it does have infinity. Right, this is probably going to be the only way I'm going to get through this level. It's such a cheesy tactic, but I honestly can't see any other way around it. So in we get. That's it. Straight out the other side. Right, okay, good. So for as long as I do this, he should stay away from me. Nice. Wow, it's pretty strong, actually. What kind of power does that have on it? Oh, he's got a real big knockback as well. Wow! Really? Two hits? And then that one took three hits. Oh, okay. This is definitely the way to go. I should have done this ten minutes ago. Right, so what we got? We got the tri uh, Tribalman Shiv. Four attack, 1.6 speed, one in the quiver. And then we got the bow, which has got power three, punch one, infinity. So let's quickly grab you. There you are. Nice. I kind of like seeing the uh, the factory to the side of us, like the kind of like the the lobby area. It's quite cool. I feel like that should be like an actual feature rather than just being in a floating void. It can be a bit scary just being in the void. Uh, right, throw that into the hopper. Uh, okay, let's get started on these guys. That's one, two, three. Good. Right, mission two is kill all enemies. I can do that. There you go. Nice. Can I hit the guardians from here? I can. As long as I hold this. Oh. I've somehow knocked him out of the water. That's interesting. Okay. Weird. I didn't think I'd actually be able to knock him out of there. Is that... Oh, yeah, now he's fallen down. Oh, no. Right, let's go for the witch from here. Because the witch was my arch nemesis last time. Let's find the sweet spot. That's really not high enough. Oh, wait. No, no, that's it. That was good. Nice. Look at that. The witch is already gone. Oh, no. But is that a skeleton with a dragon head? I think it might be. Oh, that blaze is really far away as well. That's it. Get rid of the Guardian. Nice. Bye-bye to the Guardian. Or oh, kind of. I can probably shoot the Guardian through here. There you go. Nice. Oh, why did I... Why was there... Was there a reason why I was never jumping through here before? Oh, ouch. Nice. You're gone. Nice. Look at this. Okay. Did you think the level was over? Well, I won't let you. Oh, dear. Well, as long as I stay this far away, this skeleton is never going to see me. There you go. Nice. Okay. Right. Healing potion. Is there anything else in there? What was that? That was instant health three. Oh, is there a button somewhere? There must be a button somewhere. Oh, it's right above it. Ignore me. Oh, whoa. Oh, to be continued. Right. There you go. Good. Okay. We finally completed it, everybody. Woohoo! But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to make sure that I go through some of the highly ranked levels from the server. So I'm going to change the sorting option to be top likes, and we can see what some of the best levels made in people's opinions so far are. And I'll see you all then. Bye-bye!